All right, we're live. Hopefully we're back and hopefully you can hear me. Just gonna get a confirmation. Joyce, you can... Looking good. Can you, you can hear it? Okay, great. Hey everyone, we're Hello. back. Hello, welcome, <laughs> welcome to our kitchen. Yay. All Thanks right. for joining us. Sound um, is working. <laughs> yeah. So uh, today we're making popcorn shoe cats for the first time ever. I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, this is a recipe by Dominic Ansel, the creator of the Cronut in New York. Um, one of his secret recipes is to make these popcorn chouquettes, which is like a cream puff bun But it doesn't have any filling and it's smaller. So they're like bite-sized snacks. Well, it should be like an airy Pocket inside. So it's like a quite a light Snacky thing. So I love that he's combined it with popcorn because I love popcorn, but it's also a great snack just that concept Yeah we're here in lockdown right now, so nothing better to do than to get bacon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're back. So thanks for joining us. We're going to start measuring some ingredients now. <laughs> We're making popcorn <laughs> chouquettes. I realize it's upside down for you, but there it is. These are going to be such a great snack for movie time later. Um, and obviously with lockdown, we'll, we'll just be eating everything we make. So we're going to try and not make too much stuff. Yeah, popcorn chouquettes from Dominic Ansel, Secret Recipes book. So letting you in on the secrets. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this is our first time trying this. Not sure we might completely fail, but that's fine. That means we learned something. So yeah, we'll fail. And no, we're going to... I try our best. <laughs> <Make sure. laughs> and thank you. What do you do for this book and these aprons? This is all thanks to you. So, um, shout out to what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first, the list, first thing that we we need to make is the caramelized popcorn. We need fifty grams of popcorn kernels. We need vegetable oil. Granulated sugar, brown sugar, corn syrup, water, unsalted butter, bicarb soda, and salt. So that's um, how much? 50 grams of sugar? Oh, wait, I got this one. Okay, that's fine. You took out this one for me. Okay. I'm just going to measure whatever you take out for me. What do you do? Um, yeah, it's kind of like a shoe pastry. The outside is. It has like popcorn on the outside, so uh, that's what it'll be. There's no like caramelized layer or anything specific like that. Oh yeah, you have to turn on the music. Oh, that's nice. So I'm just um, measuring some ingredients now. I've got 50 grams of brown sugar. And we're going to go 115 grams of granulated sugar we don't actually need this bicarb soda this is a lot of sugar but yeah. I guess it's a caramel so we might have to make the the popcorn in another pot yes we need a bit way bigger pot yes <laughs> cool cool Corn syrup, water. I'll do the bicarb soda. So corn syrup, we got 20 grams of corn syrup. I'm gonna use this glucose syrup because that's what we've got. <laughs> I can't open this. Can you open this? This one's a hard one. This is gonna be a nice little yeah. snack for us. Um, no filling, just a little freshly baked pastry with popcorn on the outside corn syrup 20 grams okay this stuff is going to be real 
sticky. So we got our little gram scale over here. This is to have precise measurements. <laughs> what do you do? On low battery. What will be inside? Um, so that's why that's why it's called a shoe cat. Actually, there's going to be nothing inside. It's just the shoe pastry baked, and it'll be hollow and a really light, fluffy little light pastry snack. Um, but yeah, yeah it's air small. Will be inside. It's gonna be air inside, that's true. So we can eat them all. Yes, what do you do? We're gonna eat them all. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add some water in here. 10 grams of water. Yeah, there we go, exactly. 2.15 grams of 5 carb soda. Which I think will bring a lightness to the caramel. Yeah, let's share our thoughts on this recipe. So, when we read this recipe, it was like, okay, make all the popcorn and then coat it with all of this like almost like a honeycomb recipe where you bring the sugar up to 115 degrees add in butter bring it up to 149 degrees add bicarb soda and then whisk and then we're like wait a second if you add bicarb soda to that it's gonna full blow up but it's gonna make it real soft and that kind of makes sense because you don't want to be like crunching on that popcorn and making it really um uncomfortable for you so yeah it's gonna be like a soft caramel that goes up to a really hot 149 so it'll be nice and caramel looking yeah pretty much like honeycomb but yeah we'll be whisking in that popcorn and then chopping it up and then um putting it on top of the shoe so it'll be interesting never made this before yeah okay so that's the caramel stuff done just some sugar i'm gonna leave that on the side and we're gonna pick that up when we're ready um, now I'm measuring the popcorn for 50 grams. Nice. I'll measure the butter. 56 grams of unsalted butter. 50 grams. Before. Have you heard of a shoe kept before? This is kind of, this is pretty new to us. Shoe kept. Sounds very cute. Um, but it also sounds very sweet. Everything, everything is going to be sweet, even with the popcorn. But yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting, sweet little French sugary puff. I thought they were little shoe buns with a crust outside. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But usually with shoe buns and the crust outside, they have like a crackling crust for shoes. Um, so if apparently for shoe cats, the usual crust is like a pearl sugar crust. We've seen ones with filling. Hmm, interesting. So... I wonder if they had pearl sugar crust on those. Sugar crust, hmm, like a like pretty big sized sugar, or just like um, really granulated dust of sugar. Big bits, yeah. So that's like the pearl sugar. Yeah, so kind of Googled it and that's what's come up. And we're like, whoa, every every shoe cat looks the same on Google and you Google shoe cat. It's this pearl sugar crusted little shoes that are like kind of like this size and then like snackable. With nothing inside. Aries. So we're like, Ooh, okay, cool, we're gonna make this, but it's got popcorn on the outside. That's fun. 
Okay, so I think this is most of the ingredients measured. So we got our popcorn kernels, our vegetable oil, granulated sugar, our brown sugar syrup, water, unsalted butter, bicarb soda, and salt. Two grams of salt. Got to add that in. The bicarb and the soda. Measure two grams of salt. So, one, if we have time, we're actually going to try another recipe. Uh, this is an original recipe uh, based off the Ferrero Rocher using these little shoe buns that we're creating now. So, um, I'm just going to measure this salt. Yeah, if our powder shoe goes well, we're making Ferrero Rocher. Don't know if that's gonna be taking off as a catchy uh, name or not, but we're just gonna go with it for a Roshu. But yeah, it's gonna have hazelnut and chocolate paper cream inside. But we're gonna dip the shoe in a crunchy, hazelnutty, chocolatey um, dip. And then we're gonna stick a whole hazelnut in there as well. So when you slice it in half, they'll have a hazelnut there. Ferrero Roshu cat. Yeah, that's going to be tough to pronounce. We might make this a little bit bigger than the shoe cat, so that's really a, a shoe. And you can fill enough in it, because um, we're actually going to fill those with pastry cream with a really nice um, chocolate and hazelnut creme pat. So, see how it goes. Alright, so the first step, I think we're ready. We're first ready. step is to make the caramelized popcorn. So, line a baking tray with baking paper. Let's do that. So uh, I think this is mainly so that we can actually just um, what do you call it? Separate the popcorn and yeah, the cool. cool. Because the caramel is going to go up to 150 degrees Celsius, so it's going to be very hot. It will burn you if you touch it. So we're going to let it cool on this rack after it's done. So we'll prepare that first. It's going to happen real quick once the caramel has gotten to that texture. Mix it all up and it happens. So you got to prepare that tray first. Everything's gonna happen very quickly. Yeah. Should we even should we prepare the oven? We should. Yeah, sure. The advantage is to preheating an oven early is that the air gets heated and circulated and becomes really consistent throughout the oven. You really hate hot spots in the oven. So um yeah, at first when we started baking, I was like, I don't really want to waste electricity. I don't want to leave the oven on for too long. Um, but we kind of did the maths because we got this maths logical um, brain here who could figure out how much electricity we would actually use if we left the oven on for longer to preheat it. And it's not a lot. It's not a lot. So I thought at ease and that is what we will do. We will preheat the oven early and make sure that it is consistent. <laughs> and that matters to me because I don't want to waste electricity and harm the environment unnecessarily when we're just, you know, making a snack. But yeah, feel I was very comforted by that calculation. So it says combine the popcorn kernels and vegetable oil in a medium saucepan. This is a large saucepan. Sure. Should be fine. <laughs> we ran out of saucepans. So, I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, but we'll just follow the recipe and hope for the best. <laughs> this is a beginner recipe, so it shouldn't be too complicated. Alright, All right. so you cover that with foil, cover with a lid, and cook over medium heat. Alright. Let's get that lid. Transversed. Medium heat. The lid. Done. So cook over medium heat until the kernels begin to pop. Vigorously shake the saucepan to prevent the popcorn from burning. Continue to cook until you no longer hear the kernels popping. About five minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's popcorn. It should be fine. We have heaps of kernels. If we burn this batch, we'll make another batch. It's pretty low. 
Good. All right, let's heat it up. Okay, so while that's heating up, we could start measuring the ingredients for the powder shoe, the shoe cap. Sounds like a good idea. Okay then. Um, water, milk, butter, sugar, and salt in the medium saucepan. Oh, uh, I like to measure in the saucepan so we have less washing. Okay. Yeah, sure. So I'll just move this to the side. I've been struggling to find kernels. No, okay. kernels are part of the panic buying in lockdown. We bought ours early, so we have a bunch, but there's, you know how there's kernels in two sections of a supermarket? You can always check for the Middle Eastern pack um, in the um, international aisle, or you can check the um, snack chips and popcorn aisle. We'll always go for both of them. They're usually tucked away in the back corner. I know. I honestly can, like, is more than times that I can count on my fingers that I had to ask at the supermarket where the popcorn kern kernels were because they hide them or like they're such in a discreet area of the supermarket so I hope you can still find them um, but kernels are a life saviour they're so healthy healthy depending on how you season them it's like 100% corn if you don't season them at all Last time I found them, they were on the top shelf, right in the back. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start measuring some patashu ingredients. I'm going to go for some water, 75 grams. And we looked at this recipe, we're kind of like, yeah, it's not going to make too much. And we can freeze the patashu pastry before... Um, just baking them all so we can bake them later because during lockdown we got to control how much we make because we're going to be eating everything um oh. hey shout oh, out to kelly thanks for joining Welcome. us Chief, Chief Queef 88. What's up? What time is it over there? What's up? We're making popcorn chouquettes. I'm gonna turn this book slightly. Um, you can kind of see what we're making. Midnight mates. <laughs> It must be really late, hey? The sun's actually still up where we are. Um, it is 5 p.m. So it's, we're, we're kind of in a nice sunset time now. But um, hope it's too late over where you are in Cali. Um, oh, this might make here. you hungry <laughs> in the middle of the night. Midnight snack. We are making popcorn in here. It's starting to pop. You can hear it. I Measuring. Yeah. Ooh, yep. Press pop that. Can you hear that? Oh. This always oh. scares me when it pops a lot. When it's in the microwave, it's all safe, but when it's in here, it's kind of like, don't lift the lid, it's gonna go everywhere. It's like a blender moment. Vigorously shake the saucepan. Ooh, it keeps from filling as well. Half time. Fellow filler friends, welcome. Am I doing this right? Yes. <laughs> it's popcorn. Times. This is the easy part. Let's not screw it up. We <laughs> get three shakes. This is not burning. Right. <laughs> I 
Chief Queef says, love the Aussie accent. It's the best in the world. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Try and speak Tagalog in a Aussie accent. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I don't speak much Tagalog, but... Cheers, mate. I don't know. My parents have a bit of an Aussie <laughs> accent with, mixed with the Filipino <laughs> accent. It's a Tagalog accent. With, with us <laughs> in English. All right. <laughs> to try it How do I know when this is done? Uh, let it keep popping, I think. Oh, this still going. Kamusta <laughs> ka? Yeah, it's been it's been a little while. <laughs> Okay, the topping is stuck. Let me check. Ooh. Yay, we got our popcorn. I'm turning the heat off. Nice. Just gonna get a bit of a bowl. It smells good. Popcorn smells good. Alright, here's our popcorn. The thing with um, shoe pastry that we're making today, it's a very particular pastry where you cook it over the stove, so it's going to be pretty fun. And then you bake it, you and make a roux first. Ooh, yum. Mmm, that smells good. Don't even need a salt bath. Mmm. See, that's why I'm saying popcorn can be healthy, because you don't have to go Overboard of flavoring, though the chicken salt and the butter sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be a healthy snack, anyway. I mean, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to make pastry like uh, French, using a French technique like pas de choux, French chouquette, caramelized popcorn on top. It's going to be, <laughs> it's not going to be healthy. <laughs> it's going to be yummy. <laughs> My mouth is watering. Cheers. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> I'm just going to put this in. And this in there. Oh, actually, we will need it for the camera. So I'll just leave it here. Mm -hmm. Here's a little trick. A little trick I learned to get the corn kernels, the unpopped kernels, out of your popcorn. You get a bowl, you get a wire rack that can only fit the, the kernels through, and you shake it up upside down. Ooh. Can you do that in the middle of the camera? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Life hack. Hey Tessa Six, welcome, welcome, thanks for joining us. Yeah. What are we making? We're making Tessa popcorn. Six, you came back. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Yeah, we're making popcorn chouquettes. Check it out. This is a recipe we're following today. We're following this recipe for popcorn chouquettes. Kind of show that nicely. There we go. This is from a famous pastry chef named Dominic Ansel. Um, he was the creator of the Cronut in New, New York. York. Yeah, so we're trying out one of his beginner recipes just to start off. Yeah, I mean he calls a beginner, but we're making a patashoe. And for real beginners, if you've never made a patashoe, it could go wrong. You gotta cook out the roux enough. If you don't cook it out enough, it doesn't bake. If you bake it, under bake it, over bake it, it doesn't have that hollowy air pockets. Um, but yeah, so cronuts when? <laughs> cronuts are hard. <laughs> We're not ready for cronuts. <laughs> That's gonna take ages laminating all those layers. Um, We're gonna try with We're this gonna try eventually. <laughs> So yeah, Cronuts eventually. is in the advanced section. Right now we're in the beginner section mm -hmm. to warm up to it. 
Okay, I need three grams of sugar here. Three, three grams. grams. Three grams let's of get sugar. The, let's get the gram scale out. Cause... The gram scale. Hey, we can start on this now. Yeah, let's go for it. The caramel. So this is ready for the caramel. What do you do? Says I've been wanting to make croissants, but I need some quality butter. I know you want to use the best stuff, right? And if you're gonna take like three days making your croissant pastry, you want it to be really good. Um, have you tried on um, pepper saya? That's probably where I'd go if I wanted the good butter. Oh, yeah, three grams of that one. It'd be really expensive butter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so expensive, but so yummy. Oh yeah, I'm that's gonna... not that's more than three grams. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that what do you do and toast the six are in separate rooms for watching the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for supporting us. Welcome, welcome. Alright. All right. So this is the shoe pastry. This is water, milk, butter and some sugar. And when you cook this down, you add in the flour and then you cook it out like a roux. Very interesting pastry technique um, to make cashew. Very fun. Failed many times before, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> but it's a beginner recipe in this book, so we should not embarrass ourselves and we'll, we'll succeed. Yeah. Alright, so it says to... Combine all this stuff together in a saucepan. This looks kind of gross, but it's just sugar. It's brown sugar, granulated sugar, some water. And bring this to a boil. All right, easy. Hopefully you don't screw this up. So, cook over medium heat without stirring until the caramel reaches 115 degrees. 115 degrees. We need a thermometer. I got this little trusty thermometer over here. <laughs> Gotta keep a close watch. Don't want it to crystallize. I feel like our gas is running out. I need a new one. Our power stopped. <laughs> That's alright, I'm just gonna get a new gas as this is out. Just put this aside. Don't mind me. Let's see, how do we do this again? Uh, open up this. We don't explode. It's like assembling a bomb. Alright. Fire! Yes, we have power. It's not melt. Oh, yeah. I, I have to change the pan. So it says to just spoil the pan. To allow caramel to melt. To avoid crystallization.
What do you do? Asks, how has lockdown been treating you three? How's lockdown been treating us? Who's the three? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lockdown's been okay. We've been following the rules. We don't have to stay at home. It allows us to bake a bit more often, which is good. Oh, it's bubbling. We probably should read ahead to see what we need to do when things start happening. So, bring to a boil until 1.15 and turns a similar color to honey. This looks like honey. We use dark brown sugar and then you're going to add in this butter here. Right. So I'm just going to get my thermometer working. It's working. Thanks Waddles, thanks for spreading the love and the positivity. Lockdown's tough for a lot of people but that's kind of why we want to stream to make sure we're changing it up a bit in, in our lives and connecting with others. So it's really cool we've got this platform to talk to you guys and share. A little right. bit about our craft. This is well past 1.15, it's about 1.20 right now, 1.25. Okay. So I'm going to just re reduce the heat, I'll turn it up, and let's add a bit of the butter. Mm -hmm. Caramel work is... One second. Caramel work is always a little bit stressful. Ooh, careful. Because it's so hot. Very hot stuff. You okay? Yeah. Very hot. We're dealing with 115 degrees here and we're bringing it up to 149 degrees Celsius, so it's hot stuff. Twitch has such interesting um, emojis, like I've never seen them, so I can't even recognize them. So I think those are hearts. Hearts! Hot that, guys! <laughs> How are you two doing? Hitting up the Hitting up the games on the weekend. <laughs> this Lolita. is Lolita. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> but, um, Mark's currently using the um, the hidden temperature technique. <laughs> I'm just calling it that. Hidden temperature. It's, He's um, holding a spoon and holding the thermometer at the same time um, so that he's measuring it as it's going. So, um, caramel is a tough thing. I mean, it's looking so dark and bubbly, but What's next after it's this? real hot. Once it reaches um, 149 degrees Celsius, we add the bicarb soda and salt. And, then, and this is a really scary part because it's going to bubble up. The bicarb might cause caramel to splatter, whisk until completely incorporated, and then using a heat proof spatula, fold the popcorn into the caramel until well coated. So we're pouring the popcorn um, back onto the baking tray. Okay, we're at 130 right now. Where's the bicarb soda? Is this what you measured? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's not the sugar, right? Yeah, cool. Hot stuff. 129. <laughs> Thanks for the hot. To toilet quack quack. Thanks. <laughs> Gosh, you guys have some crazy names. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> All right. Thanks for 145. joining us. 145. We're talking about 145 degrees. Celsius here, it's hot stuff. I'm gonna move away and give you space. This saucepan's a little bit too big. There's a lot of smoke happening. <laughs> Smoky! Alright, I think we're good to go though. It looks dark, yeah, in color. Right. That's at um, a bit of help. Do this, put this thermometer down, and then add this bicarb. Alright, tough enough, not too much, and then make sure 
fold in the popcorn and into the caramel. All right, heat let's go. Spatula, where you got that spoon. All right, I'll, I'll take the heat for the spatula if you have one. Bit of a rush. All right, cool. Let's try not to burn ourselves. Oh. Oh. Ah, <laughs> This saucepan is too small. I thought oh, it was no. too big. Alright, we're Don't making caramelize. Don't kind of doing a pour over. I Popcorn. thought so too. Mm. Mm. Making a bit of a mess. Careful, it's going to be really hot. Are you going to add all the bike up? That's alright. Mmm. Look at this gooey, gooey popcorn. I mean, I'm always a savory popcorn kind of person, but this actually looks pretty <laughs> yum. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, I'm getting popcorn everywhere. What do you do says, I'm cleaning the mess up very um, efficiently, effectively. Thank you. As long as it doesn't burn my fingers, I'm going to eat them. Don't touch. No waste. But yeah, that caramel's 150 degrees, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna grab one of these. Resist urge to eat it. Resist food. urge. Okay, so I've got a few corn kernels all over the place. That's all right. I'm gonna let those cool before I pick up them because they are hot. Smooth this over. Caramelized popcorn is gonna cool and we're gonna chop it up really finely and it's gonna go onto the tops and edges of our popcorn chouquettes for a delicious light snack. Mm -mm. Have you guys made caramelized popcorn before? How do we do? This is our first time making caramelized popcorn because we're savory fans, so did we do okay? <laughs> I think the caramel color looks great. It's really um, past that honey color. Nice and brown. Um, kind of like that ambery caramel. That texture looks nice yeah, and it's gooey. Really good. Looks real yum. Perfect. All right. Butter fixes all. <laughs> sure does. Mmm, smells good. It smells good. Smells yum. Oh, I really want to pick up this, but I'm resisting because it's very hot. Let's um, use a air tongs. There we go. Mmm, this smells so good. Yeah, I really want to eat some. <laughs> it smells good. Popcorn uh -huh. always smells good. Alright, cool. So let's let that. Chill out. Hey, hey. So this is our uh, caramelized popcorn. That looks darker on screen than it is here. Mmm. Yeah. Caramelized I'm just gonna popcorn. Put this to the side. I feel like Australian popcorn, Aussie popcorn, is really small in size, and in the US and other countries, you get these like humongous, um, like balls. <laughs> I really want to bring them home, but you can't because our um, our um, customs laws are so strict. Um, and it's a popcorn is a grain, so it kind of gets taken out in that category. Um, so yeah, we've got this small little popcorn, typical Aussie popcorn, um, but still delicious, still yum yum yum. Alright, so what's next? Starting up a raid. Alrighties. Thanks, Toaster. So we're going to chop up that popcorn with a chef knife in about 10 minutes. Finally chop it up so it will be nice to sprinkle on top of the shoe. And we're going to make our shoe. So the oven's already preheated. Um, we like to preheat our oven early so that it's really consistent in temperature and we don't get any hot spots. Um, and we've placed the rack 
in the middle of the oven. Um, so that rack is going to be ready for our tray to go straight in um, once the piping is done. So we're going to make the pate choux now. As I was saying, it's like a cooked roux and then you bake it. So pretty interesting. Um, made a shoe so many times, failed many times, did well many times, so many different things about it. Um, cooking it out long enough, the humidity um, in the air, the length of baking, but well, see how we go. I'm going to bring this to a boil over medium heat and then we're going to add the flour in one go once the um, this is boiled. So measure out the flour so it's ready. This isn't flour, is it? That is flour. That is flour, okay. okay. Let's measure that flour. What's in this? Popcorn? Popcorn. Popcorn in the shoe? I don't know. What is this? Flour measure time. Thanks for joining everyone. Let us know where you're from. Alright, so we're just measuring out this flour. Need 98 grams, so precise. 98 grams. Check it out, we're making, whoa, popcorn Ooh. shoe cats today. This is us. If you guys aren't hungry, it's going to make you hungry. Yeah, so this is a pastry from the famous Dominic Ansel. This Ray. is our first time trying this recipe. <laughs> and this is a famous pastry chef from New York, the creator of the cronut. So, yeah, it'll be some fun to try it out. Gosh, raids are exciting. This is crazy. Cool. Hello, raiders. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, this is exciting. People so, want to get hungry. So right now, we've just made our caramelized popcorn. Here it is. Ready to go on top of our shoe buns. And we're about to make the shoe pastry. Making a pat of shoe. So we've just measured our flour here, we've got our butter and milk in here. Hello, hello everyone. Hello, 52 viewers. Where are you all Yo, from? Shikasa, yes. Hello, hello. Hopefully really yummy. We haven't, actually haven't tasted these before. First time making shikets. But they look really tasty. Uh, we need to sift this and also prepare the eggs. So. Okay. Maybe it's Does that. anyone of you have one of these? A drum sieve? Or do you have like those bowl sieves? Because if you don't have one of these and you ever need to sift anything, then I recommend this. It's so much faster than one of those bowl ones. <laughs> We're gonna attempt to polite normal people. Oh, We are from all over. Shoe fly. Here we go, the shoe puns begin. And we weren't sure about the Ferrero Rocher shoe um, pun that we made. We weren't sure if that was gonna go, but bring them on. Bring on those shoe puns. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring right. on the shoe buns, and you guys bring on the shoe puns. I'm just cracking three eggs into here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome AFK Kitchen. What do you guys do? You have a rotary sifter. Oh, that's fancy. That's hard to clean though, right? It's got all of these um, like spikes 
and like you kind of have to like clean between the blades whereas this one's kind of just real easy we made alien themed stuffed peppers Ooh, alien themed it sounds crazy <laughs> What's an alien themed stuffed pepper? Sift the flour. This is our powder shoe ready to be cooked into a roux. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Where's everyone from? It's so exciting. First time seeing a raid. It's like, whoa, so sudden. What do we need to do? Keep We're this gonna up into the boil. Take this to a boil and then throw in the flour and cook that flour up. South California. Woohoo! Boston, up. Washington State. Whoa, wow, everyone's wow. from everywhere. Cool, what time is it over there? It must be really late. We're over here in Sydney. Thanks for joining us. It's about what time is it? 36 over here. 3 a.m. Some late night snacks. All right. Yeah, it's late, guys. Uh, you're forgiven. <laughs> You'll be lurking. Cool. Thanks so much for joining. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for the support. This is so fun. This is our second stream ever. Um, we're new. <laughs> we're in Sydney, we're in lockdown, and we're like, hey, let's connect with the love of food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. Keep it up. Love to see new peeps in food and drink. This is about the time I get home from work and play games, and I lurk in food and drink streams. This is nice. Welcome to food and drink. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. I never thought about food and drink streams as a thing you do. Just um, leave on the side late at night because it's going to get you real hungry. But, <laughs> but I dig it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is our second time streaming ever. We're from Sydney. We love making chocolates. Shout out to What Do You Do for getting us these aprons. And shout out to What Do You Do for getting us Dominic Ansel's book, who's the creator of Cronuts from New York. So, um, this is a recipe we're trying. Booting and drinking. I'm a cook for work. Whoa, cool. Chris Hangberry is a real chef. Real chef in the house. Real chef. <laughs> hey. So, we're, we're a bit of amateur chefs. We've been baking at home for a while now. It's our hobby to do as a couple. Oh, here we go. It's coming to a boil now. Thank you so much. Credits, these aprons, all credits to What Do You Do. Right, it's Mark and Joyce in my house. It's boiling. All right, it's boiling. So we're making a pot of shoe. Go in mm. straight away and feed that flour out. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on the pot a little because. This is a <laughs> making the roux. It's, it's happening, it's happening. I love the chill vibes, it's my vibe. Thank you, Chris Hangry. Real chef in the house. Liking our vibes. <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen in Sydney, guys. <laughs> Eat that shit. Go, go, go. together and forms the dough we're going to continue to stir it until it becomes dry and you see a film starting to form at the bottom of the saucepan 
I never quite understood that. This is a film right now, and it just started, right? Yeah, but so after how, making how sure minutes? a few times, this is about one to two minutes, you just gotta cook that, cook that flour out for a little longer. You always cook it out a bit longer. Go, go, go! So now that we've got a real chef in the house, you gotta tell us what we're doing right and wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> We've made we've made shoe pastry a few times, so our main thing is in chocolate. Uh, uh, this is our second stream ever, so thanks so much for joining us. The first stream we ever did, we tempered chocolate. It was a five-hour stream. We made chocolate bonbons, tempered chocolate from beginning to end in this home kitchen of ours, and it was hot. It was like 25 to 27 degrees in here, so it was so hard to get the chocolate down to the right temperature. Today we're doing so it's a little bit easier, a little less finicky. Alright, is this ready yet? <laughs> Experience the greatest teacher. <laughs> Ooh, bougers, that's the other name for these. Oh, um, that's with cheese. That's with cheese. Yeah, we're gonna make um, sweet chouquettes today. No cheese. Um, but we've got caramelized popcorn behind us. Oh, Alright. Is it done yet? How's this looking? That looks good, I think. I think that's Starting good. to dry out. Yeah, let's transfer the dough to the stand mixer. And then cool it down before we start adding the eggs. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? That looks good, yeah? Yeah, that looks good. It's, you guys are going to be like, this is such a tiny amount of shoe, but we're in lockdown now and anything we make, we have to eat, just like us two. <laughs> um, so if we make too much, last time we made bonbons, we made like, how many do we make? 56 bonbons. We made 56 bonbons. We still have a heap, but we like eat like 10 a day. We're just, just eating them like popcorn. So that's fun. Yeah, stand mix of time. What do you do, agree? So we're gonna cool this down and add some eggs so that the eggs don't scramble on um, contact. Mm -hmm. it's time to get our stand mixer out. You guys are crazy. This Twitch community is crazy. 3 a.m., 4 a.m., watching food and drink streams. You guys are cool. How do you yeah. keep awake? <laughs> How do you know what to eat? Sydney life at the moment, we can't leave the house. We're not allowed to have visitors, exactly. So, usually we can just make a whole bunch of stuff and then we'd go around to friends, family, um, have people over or just like drop things off. And now we're like, um, we're gonna have to eat everything we make. <laughs> Happy to sit around eating bonbons for you. Cool. We know now. <laughs> Where should we send them to? <laughs> Food and drink fest community. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Big teacup. Big enough to use as a mixing bowl. Hey, this is like a teacup. It is. Yeah, this handle is really, really convenient. Really nifty. All right. Here we go. We've got our pink stand. Beat this for a bit so it cools down on low speed, right? Yep. There we go. Okay. We're using a paddle attachment. This is just to uh, cool it down, and then we're going to add an egg each, and it's going to split like crazy and then come together. It's a cute mixer. You know, Waddles, we got this mixer for free. <laughs> I mean, we don't cook for a living. Like, really like to invest a lot of money into this hobby of ours we just we're really thrifty and then we won this for free we're like oh cool now we can make all these crazy things that we watch youtubers and other streamers do so yeah sorry to read and run it's a crazy nice but so glad to meet you can't wait to catch another stream thank you so much afk kitchen all good it's 3 a.m over there you get your rest um Thank you so much for coming and bringing everyone. Um, that was awesome, awesome, cool community. 
we'll catch you guys next time. Catch ya. Thank you. Chris Hangry, I specialize in Korean and Hawaiian cuisine. Ooh. Working on expanding my knowledge to include as much as I can fit in my brain. Right now, I'm working at a vegan Mexican restaurant. Vegan Mexican food. Learning some vegan recipes like meatless jackfruit al pastor, tofu scramble for an egg replacement, vegan cheese made with nutritional yeast that actually tastes good, lol. Also have some experience working French, Italian, Japanese restaurants as well. Oh my, mind blowing. We got a, we got a crazy cool, cool <laughs> chef here. <laughs> Thanks so for the intro. Bit of pressure. <laughs> Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we love Mexican cuisine. Vegan foods really cool as well. So yeah, that sounds really cool. Like the jackfruit, jackfruit meat. I haven't tried that before. Mm. Alright, there's not that much steam coming from this anymore, so it's kind of cooled down. Uh, might trickle in a little bit of egg. the size of this bowl. Looks like it could use a little bit more egg. Mm. 
Tea pastry always looks yummy, then you taste it raw. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Can't eat this raw. Alright, let's come together. Add the last bit of egg. My favorite sauce is Bernays sauce with the tarragon. I never had it in Sydney before, but when I went over to France, had it with a steak. It was really delicious. What's your favorite sauce? Oh yeah, Bernays, 100%. 100%. Bernays as well. Bernays, so good. Um, but I'm a bit of a Kewpie Mayo fan too. <laughs> Pretty Mayonnaise. Japanese, but you can put Kewpie on anything and it just tastes so good. Wow, this community is so positive and encouraging. Thank you guys so much. People are saying they're loving our stream setup. Looking legit. Oh, we're getting followers. This is so fun. Thank you guys for all this excitement. This is really cool. Thanks, Gadez Deva, the Carvers, for following us. Roasted sesame is yum. Yes. Oh, Top sesame. choice just ahead of Hollandaise Bernays. <laughs> How is this? It's looking a bit stiff, hey? Mmm, yep. More egg? We need more egg. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Ah, uh, the Bernays sauce with a nicely cooked duck breast. Mmm, mmm. That mm. tart really contrasts the fatty duck. Absolutely. Everyone Second says way. it like the first time. <laughs> Oh no, I screwed it up. Alright, just one more egg. Yeah, we totally asked the really important questions here. This is the food and drink, guys, so... <laughs> Let's mess this up a bit. Mm -hmm. mm. down because I don't know how you real chefs do it standing in the kitchen all day but it is tough real tough not to mention that I am growing a human right now in me so <laughs> just take a rest back here no screw ups in the kitchen only happy accidents yes happy accidents spoken by true chefs that's where innovation happens Happy accidents, no crying over spilt milk. I've spilt mousse before, I almost cried about that. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> I spilled, I was making a large mousse entremet cake and my cake rigging wasn't fully set onto the board and then the mousse just puddled everywhere. Still too thick, hey? <laughs> Cooking is an out there and it gets better and more fun over time. Yeah. Just I need more egg. A little bit more. Just a little more, a yeah. Little a little more egg. I'm gonna cry so quietly in the walk in cooler while you're breaking down boxes. Oh, real chef stories. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> onions thrown at you. Wow, yeah, that's real chef talk, guys. <laughs> when you just have to cry, how and when? Just that chopping onions. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just chopping onions. Mm. Yeah, people on Twitch are real friendly. More so in the food and drink community. We chose the right community to start streaming. Merry <laughs> <Okay, again. laughs> Only one person. One person in the call at a time, please. <laughs> You're crying. Wait in line. Wait in line. Ooh. This is looking pretty good. It's falling slowly from the paddle. Ooh, I, I'd Real even go a slowly. little more. I think a little more egg. A little more. Yeah. A little more. I don't know. It's, it's almost there. What do you think? It's pretty close. I we think this is it. should ask the real chefs. <laughs> We've added a whole egg more than the recipe it calls for. Alrighty. I think it's looking pretty good. It's looking quite soft. All Let's right. just do another test. Okay, this is shoe. What do you reckon? Mm. <laughs> it's still blowing slowly. More mixing. Mm. Alright, the real chefs have spoken. It looks really good. <laughs> it is very stretchy. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Okay. Alright, real chef has spoken. Let's proceed. <laughs> Next minute Approved. we're like, um, Chris Hangry, what'd you do to our shoot? <laughs> I think this looks good. About experimenting and learning from mistakes, absolutely, absolutely. I made so many mistakes. Yeah. We went to a cooking class of one of our favorite chefs, and we made the most mistakes in the class, but we learned the most in the class. <laughs> yeah. So we got our money's worth. <laughs> Everything I ever cook on stream is something I've never made. Oh, yes. Yes, we're friends. We're, let's be friends. This is us too. We've also never made this popcorn shoe kits and our attempt for Ferrero Rocher shoes. Um, we love trying new stuff. Exactly. Mistakes are how new recipes are born. Merry Dragon, that's it. You guys are uh, proud for sure. <laughs> I don't know how Twitch works yet, but I think we're gonna. After the stream, I'm gonna go and check out all your names and then. Oh, super you. stretchy. All right. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. <laughs> and babies. Uh, well, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. This is cool. This is a this is quite a consistent community at three or four a.m. in the U.S. Um, you guys are pretty pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Let's make the shoe cats. Popcorn shoe cats time. So Dominic Ansel says that this is one of his go-to light light snacks. I think it's a cool idea. We don't have pearl sugar for that typical shuket look. But I think popcorn is an awesome idea and love popcorn. So I'm just gonna pack away this mixer. Just bring it in. How are you guys holding up? What what time is it now? Three, four, five any five AM is out there? <laughs> Who's from Australia? <laughs> and if you're from Sydney, it's probably around 6 p.m. Probably time to get hungry for dinner as well. So, <laughs> so everyone's gonna be like, gotta go. We, we're gonna just get hungry. Just hungry. Too. All right. So I think we just need to chop these up. 
And yes. pipe. Pipe ash. Yeah, yes. let's chop that up. Ooh, Chris Hangry just dropped a, a real chef tip. Hashtag for real tips. Um, you don't want to destroy the integrity of it by adding too much egg, so true. There's a way to correct it by making a little bit of extra batter with higher hydration and then mixing that dough slowly into the old dough. Oh, that is so smart. Whoa. I get it. Instead of adding the egg into the entire thing. A big saying in kitchens is you can always add more, but you can't always take it out. That is genius. Wow. Awesome. That's a really good tip. I haven't heard of that one before. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Real chef tip. This is our caramel popcorn that we made earlier. Oh. Ooh, that taste? sounds yum. <laughs> I think mm. in the US, caramel popcorn is a really normal thing, right? Would it? Mm. What do they call it like caramel <laughs> really popcorn, but uh, we usually have our savory here. So wow, that's really yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yum. <laughs> really good. Oh, delicious. Mm. Wish you could try this. Mmm. I don't even know if we need a chocolate. Punch ASMR. <laughs> you can put go. the mic next to the popcorn. <laughs> here we go. thing here in the U in the in the in Australia too. Well I challenge that. When you go to the movies, where do you get your caramel popcorn from? You can only get butter and salt of popcorn. It's not that normal. We have to go to like a popcorn store, right? I think some some cinemas might be doing it nowadays. Event cinemas maybe. Who's going to the cinemas these days? Popcorn's not exclusive to the cinemas. Point made, that's true. <laughs> they sell caramel popcorn. I'm thinking about like fresh popcorn when you're out and about and you want a snack. They sell packet. Oh yeah, mm. they sell packet. My ears. <laughs> now crunch it with your teeth. Mmm. Merrick Dragon makes popcorn almost every day. Wow. <laughs> mm. I don't have caramel popcorn often. <laughs> mm, delicious. Literally the last time I had caramel popcorn when I was overseas. When I was out and I was like, wow, they're selling it. In at Chicago. Like, oh yeah, in Chicago. Mmm. This needs to be more fine, I think. Yeah. Oh, melted candy, I've heard of that. What's melted candy, you guys? What? It's like a cereal. Wait, no. Is it a breakfast? No, oh, it's a salad. What? I'm getting more confused. <laughs> Sorry, I might be confusing about something else. Toilet Dark Quack says, In my normal work day, I walk past the Colonel's popcorn, and they have all different types of popcorn. Get 
that sleep. You better be up with me tomorrow. Oh, you guys are so cool. You're cooking together. Mm. Oh man, we're gonna be at work tomorrow. It's Monday for us. All right, let's bake these shoes. Mm. How do we? What tray do we use? Do we use um? Hmm. Use our thick bottom one. And should we use um silicon mat? Yeah. Or perf perforated mat? Oh, perforated. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, chap? <laughs> perforated mat. It's like three or four a.m. Oh, silicon so mat. For them. Even real chefs have their lips. <laughs> Less shelves, to be fair. <laughs> I think um, perforated mat's good for when it's frozen. Can you do it when it's not? Yeah. For a shoe bun, you kind of want that steam as mm. well to help bake it. Alright. Potentially a new learning over here. We're going to use a perforated mat for this. Oh yeah. What do I think? I think I'm craving some popcorn chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it went around and around about caramel popcorn and then it went to popcorn chicken and now it's chicken time. Yep. Mm, I want some popcorn chicken. <laughs> Honestly, we were decided we're having for dinner yet at 6 p.m. and we were popcorn chicken. <laughs> I blame the pasta. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> We're cheap. These are reusable. Chris. <laughs> Gonna get some rice out of the dinner. Sound good. That's good. Uh, for Remember Sydney to side, it's dinner time. For those in the US, it's sleep time. Kind of figuring it out now, but there's still heaps of people on. So thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Welcome. I know, but I don't do enough baking work to own silk pads. I just use parchment paper. Yeah, that's true. You kind of got to get into the dessert world to justify it. We, we're like so cheap. <laughs> we didn't buy them until way later. We were baking and making chocolate stuff for years and we're still like $20. <laughs> you got to justify that cost. We bought our soap pads from AliExpress. <laughs> as long as it works. So they're not real. Oh yeah. All right, got most of it. Did you get everything. like watching people on YouTube or anything with the American accent so like hearing Aussies it's weird <laughs> oh I didn't put a tip on it <laughs> <laughs> learning <laughs> it's not a mistake Distracted. just just learning it's okay we'll just cut a nice just cut table. a nice hole all good all right it's piping time Sorry, cover your ears, guys. You should have worn them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that one. Love the accent. Ooh. Don't leave any. I can still feel mm. my grandma throwing a shoe at me for leaving some in the bottom. <laughs> I know. I'm like, that's one dollar in there. It's Here all it's gone, right? Down. <laughs> Did the best I could. Everything now. Nine out of ten, I always clear the tip. <laughs> GG. Okay, cool. I feel feel okay about it then. <laughs> All right. Just get excited. How big? Everything in. It says an 803 tip. What is that? Hmm. I mean, the shoe cat's small. <laughs> Not too small. 
I'm gonna guess 8.3 millimeters. Ooh, is that know. what it means? <laughs> All right. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so these are gonna be cute shoe cats. We're not gonna fill them with anything. We're just gonna. That's too small. Too small? <laughs> That's way too small. These shoe cats are supposed to be small. No. I have many okay, of them. We're gonna need to chop that popcorn up. Fine. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it be. Okay. Yeah. Although we're not piping anything into these jackets, um, they they gotta be some like a nice body to it for um, that snacky, airy pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Eight or three. That's a pretty big range, right? Waddles says you won't even get a piece of popcorn on that. <laughs> Very precise. Thank you, Shiksa. They're getting bigger. <laughs> okay, but that's baby size. We'll see. It's too small. <laughs> They'll be really small and easy to eat, essentially. Okay, let's see. Let's see what it says here. It says. Four centimeters. How, how big is this thing? So one mistake we've made is while we're piping, we're like, oh, that looks a bit small. Let's pipe bigger ones. And then you have different size ones on the same tray, and then they bake differently at different times. So now that you've started it, let's keep them consistent. <laughs> have to go ahead with this one. <laughs> but add a bit more to the first one, though. That looks tiny. It actually looks small on camera. It's not that small, but still, still small. <laughs> This is it's pretty small. <laughs> they look like little yellow little poop emojis or something. <laughs> Alright. Food. How's this size? Um yeah, that's good for a shake. Okay, one baby tray and then mommy daddy tray next. <laughs> Yellow chocolate drops. <laughs> I know that an 83 tip is cross shaped. Oh. 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 That's. Well. <laughs> wow, you chefs have to remember what these are? That's crazy. That's a lot of. Um, Memorization you gotta do. You wanna check? These two close together or what? Is it cross or X? watched by right. chefs with 10 years experience or more <laughs> <laughs> in our home kitchen but Check all good <laughs> so normally <laughs> we put like tackling on these but we don't have totally them. joking don't know <laughs> what a 38 tip is okay cool <laughs> all right okay so let's press them in oh yeah sprinkle and then sprinkle. slightly press so this is uh popcorn oh yeah they're really big that's okay Crunch. You sure you don't want to chop them up a bit more? Alright, I'll, I'll sieve out the big ones. Mm. Yeah. Man, we're getting trolled by real chefs. So, someone's got to look it up now. What the, the, the 8.3 8 tip or whatever it is. 803. These code, code names. They're like product code names. How does anyone try and remember what they are? Um, Chris Hangry says, I mean, you always make the first batch for a test batch. Yeah, test batch, exactly. Merit Dragon, an X tip is just a plus tip, <laughs> cross tip, when you're holding your hand crooked. <laughs> True. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> 
Chris Hangry says, you know, you got to make sure your oven's at the right temp. Make sure your batter is a good consistency. You can adjust your batter. And of course, the best part is to get to taste it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real tips dished out here. Does this look right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's now like... we're like questioning everything. We're like, Chris, can you just confirm with us what we're doing here? <laughs> No, this is so fun, guys. Mmm, <laughs> popcorn shoe cats. I can't wait to eat these later. Some of the pieces are quite big. Toilet duck quack, what temp is this gonna bake at? Oh, yeah, can you check the thermometer? So, 175? What do we got now? 190, 180. We're at 180. 180 degrees Celsius. What does it say to bake it at? <laughs> it says... If it's easier, most people just call me TDQ. <laughs> 190 for conventional. I'm going to get that wrong too. TQD and, and, and Q, QDT. <laughs> Mary Dragon says we gotta save some popcorn for ourselves. Thank you. So considerate. We have a whole other tray on the side for ourselves. So we're all good. <laughs> but yeah, let's make sure we, we leave some of that. <laughs> we have all of this actually. Check this out. Mmm, <laughs> that tray is looking good. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the way. A little pat, make sure that they stick. Those are pretty big popcorn pieces. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Oh, they actually look real indeed. cute. They look good. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm just getting the excess up the best I can. More for me to eat. Pretty good. Yum. So it says bake. Look good. We made it this far because of everyone. Thanks for all your help and support and all your advice, your chefly advice, all those professional tips, <laughs> pro technique. All right. <laughs> this is them right before they go into the oven. Let's check it out. Popcorn chiquettes. Let's hope for the best. It could take 10 minutes. Mm. It's really short, but Can they're I really small. Can I take a quick video? Alright. Okay, Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Rather than just set off everyone else's Google, do you guys? Do you use Google and her? <laughs> or are you guys the Alexa team? We're pretty loyal Googlers. Hmm, it's getting pretty late. I'm not sure if we can finish our forever shoot today. Oh, we have more of this. So we should start piping some more. Mm, we'll pipe it and then freeze it. Sounds good. Sydney at the moment um, and we're on lockdown so if we bake too much we're gonna have to eat them all so we're just gonna pipe some um, pipe the rest freeze them and then bake them at another day Merry Dragon, this is where I would run in and disguise myself as the bowl he is stomping in <laughs> <laughs> oh, Google Home Mini all over as well. 
<laughs> Not you, Google. I don't want a timer stop. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, like 30 off everyone. But it's okay. When we stop our timers, we'll stop yours too. See how considerate we are? <laughs> everyone will be awake in 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh yeah, better make sure that timer is not too loud because if you live with family and it's like 4 a.m. or something, uh, don't blame us. <laughs> How's this size? Yeah, maybe a little. Yeah, okay, let's just go with that. I want to take a peek at the oven. They look good. They look cute. They're so cute. They're so small. I mean, they're actually cats, so. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty cute. Just keep doing, keep it at that. We're freezing these ones, right? You know the best part? They cook faster. Waddles is so right. They cook faster and we're going to be able to eat them uh, pretty quickly. Uh, probably once this next tray comes out, we'll let you all sleep and have dinner. So we'll stop um, distracting you from real life. <laughs> I'll uh, probably come back on uh, to stream the rest. So we actually make a Ferrero brochure. We're gonna make a hazelnut and chocolate uh, creme pat and dip the shoe in a chocolate and hazelnut um, dip. <laughs> What's the word? Um, we're gonna stick a whole hazelnut inside. Glaze. So, hmm? Glaze. Glaze, yes. Uh, so if you wanna check us out then, Tomorrow, when you wake up, feel free to. Um, but yeah, this time difference thing makes things a little bit difficult. <laughs> Chris Hangry says, My Google literally never responds to me. Like, I'm yelling all over the house. <laughs> Google set a timer. Like, Google's like calling your mom. Thanks, Google. <laughs> that happens to us. Oh. <laughs> Mary Dragon, I like sending messages from one room to the other. I had my flatmate thinking there was a ghost in the house for a little bit. How do you do that? You can send messages to each other in different rooms? That's fun. I think our apartment's too small to try that because we just got this too, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, Sheik's side just said something pretty important. They're getting closer together. <laughs> We're gonna freeze these ones oh, and then true. they're gonna come off the tray. True. And then we'll put them on the chair, <laughs> so it should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Thank intentional. You. <laughs> this is all good. All yeah. good. <laughs> How Google Home only speaks when spoken to. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but that was a good um, observation. Even I was like, not sure. Um, but yeah, when we freeze these, we can just plop them off into a bag and they'll just keep it shape and they won't stick together. So it's all good. Um, but yeah, we've just got like maybe eight more minutes on this first batch and then we can all see and witness what these chouquettes, popcorn chouquettes are like. Dominic Ansel's recipe book. All thanks to What All You Do. Thank you for this book. It was a really great birthday gift. Uh, super fun. And for getting us these aprons so that we can stream and make them in front of you while we're in lockdown super fun enjoying the food and drink community <laughs> we didn't say it earlier <laughs> name each google home something unique i have bedroom one bedroom two and living room and kitchen so wherever i am say google broadcast bedroom one. Oh, you broadcast it <laughs> Sponsored by What Do You Do? Yeah, totally. <laughs> this broadcast, this live stream is brought to you by What Do You Do? <laughs> Thanks, Waddles. Um, yeah, this is the first recipe we're trying from this book because the first stream we did last week we tempered chocolate um, and we made chocolate bonbons with a really beautiful chocolate ganache inside. We made like 50 something of them and we're like, like boy, we're gonna have to eat all these by ourselves. So we did. <laughs> We've been eating like um, eight a day. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Piped. Ready to go into the freezer for later because we can't eat that many. <laughs> Great Shadow Legends. I have another book. Thanks, Waddles. We love these books. 
Because these are, there's a lot of things in here we made before because we're in our own like world of chocolate. Um, super fun to try new stuff. Just a little. Yes, very nice. So I'm just putting a little bit of water on top to put down these tips. That way they don't burn when we eventually bake them. And the dough doesn't stick to my finger. save some to be non-popcorn ones. Oh. Oh. Conundrum. Is that oh. I don't know. How well does popcorn freeze and rebake? Probably fine. Let's do more popcorn. They look cute. They look real good. Ooh, they look nice. I think we should have done an egg wash though. <laughs> I think with an egg wash, it would have been real cute. Um, nice and golden at the top. They look a little bit blonde, but I mean... Ooh. I mean, they need a bit longer. Yeah. And then they'll look good. I kind of want to show what, what it looks like in the oven. Shiksa says, if your kisses burn, you may need to see doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Merit Dragon, most used response in my house to Google random helpers. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm gonna try something. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, It says to switch it around in the oven um, after the tent. Oh, it doesn't finish now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It says 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. But I'm scared because normally when you bake shoe, if you open the oven, they might collapse, I right? Know. That's why I was confused when I read this recipe. What is Dominic Ansel telling us to do? Open the oven door in the middle of baking. And we're not baking cookies here, we're baking shoes. Now they look like coconut puffs grandma used to make. <laughs> yeah, do you feel me not? I mean like where this is what the stream is about. Trying new things, trying Dominique Ansel's recipe. So let's follow it. Um open the door. Yeah, let's do it. 
Alright, ten. Fingers crossed they don't just collapse, guys. It's like souffle moment. Are they gonna die? That's. Alright. <laughs> you bangs in there. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, cute. you can watch it rise. Yeah. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Cool. There. See? And you can do what they were, they were just creepy pregnant. It'd be funny if like, you know, after eight minutes this like they start like sinking. <laughs> you get to see a live shoe sinking. Alright. <laughs> Did we set a timer? Um, yeah. Okay, Google, set timer for nine minutes. Alright, nine minutes. Starting now. Alright, I'm just gonna go freeze this tray. Yeah, let's not jinx our shoes, guys. All the positivity and the encouragement that the food and drink community has been giving us. Rise! Set up right now, I can see. Wire, dangerous wire. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, that's not good. Good thing this is just the home kitchen, guys. No one calls the supervisor. Mmm, caramel popcorn. I'm gonna stand. See, if we didn't have you guys, we'd just be making this on our own. Just by ourselves in the kitchen. Now we can share this experience together. It's pretty cool. Mm. No, no, it's good. Tastes better. It's fresh. <laughs> it's so crunchy, yeah. Really crunchy. It's got that nice pang of salt, and it's not like really like tough batter. Popcorn eaters out there, what's the best way for us to store this caramel popcorn? <laughs> you need a airtight container. Airtight container. How about a vacuum seal? <laughs> Chris Hagrid says, add 
Mary, please put a helmet on oven and refrigerator. That makes more sense, actually. <laughs> Get your helmet. <laughs> Ooh, they're not sinking. They're still alive. They're still alive. Hey, that's good. See, they're not too small. Thing. You can't even fit one of those in your mouth. <laughs> Never doubted you. No one here ever did. <laughs> <laughs> there is no evidence of us doubting you. I'm gonna put away this caramel popcorn. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Show this later. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a great way so that I can see exactly what's happening in the oven. Yeah, we don't have to crouch down. It's like a baby monitor, but like <laughs> shoe monitor. <laughs> shoe monitor. Baby shoe monitor. <laughs> Chris Henry asks, are we gonna plate them on stream? Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, this batch, yeah. They're gonna be done in a few minutes. Okay, Google. How many minutes left on the timer? Three minutes to go. We should put like a timer on. Timer on the stream. Three minutes to go. Still not over yet. Once we take them out of the oven, they still might deflate. Never know. It's happened to us a few times before. Mm. Now you know how to monitor your baby. Yes. Oh yeah. How do we plate a shoe cat? We'll just put it on the plate. <laughs> And we'll Did add we some do a popcorn. Little plated dessert, yeah. Sprinkle a bit of popcorn on the side. Ooh. Do we have a little creme like an ice cream to Ooh, have with this? This would be great on ice cream. Nice plated. Like this, these shoe cats are pretty much like massive caramel popcorns. Think about it. <laughs> a massive caramel popcorn. Yeah, I want to snack on these while watching a movie or something. Alright, let's watch a movie. Alrighty, where is my lid? Uh -oh. Ooh, pressure's on now. Chris loves to watch people play food. <laughs> Mom's great at plating, so... Oh, thanks. <laughs> you should check out, our, check out our Instagram or our recipe website. We're not pros, obviously, we've got day jobs, we work desk jobs and stuff, but when we do this on weekend and nights, Mark's got that eye for detail that I don't have. And uh, yeah, they look pretty good. Check us out. Let me put this over there. And just clear up a bit. Pop shoe. <laughs> Merry Dragon. My favorite Google story relates to cooking pork steaks to impress a date and say, Hey Google, set time at 8 minutes. And after about 7 minutes, you ask Google how much time is left. Google responds, Doesn't look like you have any time is set. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Google's not on your side. <laughs> That's happened to us a few times. Yeah. <laughs> like like oh, oh, mm, pool's collar. Oh, good. <laughs> Oops. Who 
oopsie daisy. And you know there's seven minutes left. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a timer. You're pro, Merrick. <laughs> Stop. Stop. All right, this is it. Shoes are ready. Mm, the shoes look good. Yeah, they look really tall. Yeah. So let's place a bit of a wipe. So we've just done one half of what we wanted to do on this stream. We've made popcorn chouquettes. Um, but after we take a break and have some dinner, uh, we're going to do our Ferrero Rocher shoes with a, um, a filling, a hazelnut and chocolate uh, pastry cream filling. So, and we're going to do a chocolate and hazelnut glaze. So, yeah, we'll do that a bit later. Yeah. Um, still want to do it. Shoes look good. <laughs> shoes. Alright, let's, let's go for it. Merrick says, in truth, it felt like 10 or 20 minutes. And the alarm hand went off, I know. It must have felt like eternity. <laughs> okay. Don't yeah. sink, please. Oh, Chris Hanger checked out our Instagram. He says, um, your Instagram looks amazing. In response to you saying, you can tell I don't know how to play. See? Give Mark that confidence. Thank you so much. Ooh. Wow. Don't burn myself. Whoa, they look good. Oh yes. my gosh. They look so beautiful. And we didn't even do an egg wash. Ooh. Ooh. Yum. Kind of burst open. Yeah, they kind of like got this organic burst look to them. They're not like a perfect shoe, like perfectly round, but they look amazing. Alright, let's get this back up. Try oh, well, wow. Avoid the feet cam. <laughs> Guys, they look so good. I feel so proud. Mainly because I sat down for most of it and Mark did most of the work, so <laughs> I'm allowed to brag. Team effort. Okay, plating time. So let's let's leave this here because this is Dominic Ansel's. Mer Merrick Dragon has to go. Thanks, thanks for joining us, Merrick. Have oh, a good go, night. go go go! All good. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for joining us, Merrick. Have a good night. It was so fun. All right. We will plate now. We'll put photos of this on our Insta too, so you can get a close up. Want to see them? Maybe uh, we have each of these so I can trade this. Hey, Mary. Popcorn shoe cats. So there's no filling. You just eat them. So we'll just plate these. Wait, wait. Okay. Uh, okay, check. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Ooh, they look good. It's so hard to get it right in the camera. Yeah. I'm just taking some close-ups, so... Yeah, they look so golden! Mm. They feel so light. Mm. Look careful, the tray's still hot. I know. What's the best way to play these shoes? Just, do like just trust party. yourself. Trust the instincts. You got this. There we go. I'll just put some popcorn, popcorn looks popcorn great on it. Oh, what do you do once us to tap on one? That's a good one. Mm. 
We need some more color contrast on this. Everything just looks golden. Mmm. Cool. All right. Do you have it, everyone? <laughs> nice and simple. Popcorn shoe kits. Voila, we made popcorn shoe kits. Do Thank we have you. a bright plate? Yes, we do. A bright plate. Shall I get the pink one or? The white one? A white one. That's a bright plate. You want to tap on one for Waddle's request? Ooh, yeah, that was nice. Should we open one up? Wait, tap it next to the next to the. We mic. need to eat it. We need to eat it, yes. The white one. White one? Which one? At the one at the bottom. Good. Yeah. could work if we had a bit of yeah like a cream could like quickly whip up a chantilly or something but I mean we just gotta eat this now here's, <laughs> here's a white plate same thing mm. I move this weird thing away oh this one is uh, it's more slippery it's a glossy plate okay I'm ready to eat you guys ready for us to eat mm. <laughs> we're eating it and I'm asking if you're ready but yeah it's a matter of urgency. Okay, okay. ready. Wait. Go for it. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's hollow. Completely hollow. Nice. Mmm. It's crunchy. Mmm. Mmm, it's yummy. <laughs> wow, it's really good. It's actually quite light. Mmm. You can eat a lot of these. Mm hmm. Oh, it totally mm. bubbles up. Mmm. Mmm. See, I didn't pipe them too small. Mm hmm. Look how big these are. Oh, these are good. Mm. Yum. Mmm, so good. I'd buy these if they were selling them somewhere. Let's check out the inside. Nicely done. Completely hollow insides. This mm. would be great for a filling. Oh, we need a filling. That's that's for the next stream. We're gonna make fur rocher chouquettes. Fur rocher is Fur rocher. We're gonna fill this with a a hazelnut and milk chocolate creme patissier, and we'll have a hazelnut in there, and we're gonna dip this mm. in. Um, chocolate hazelnut glaze. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, oh, mm. It would be so good with the cream. Mm. What do we have? Nothing. True, I'm missing a cream. Like, I want creamy. I mean, because I know it's a shoe. Should we make a cream? Happy melted ice cream and freeze them. <laughs> Let me go with the popcorn. Ooh, ice cream shoes. Mmm. That'd be great. Mmm. Okay, so I don't know what time it is, but I'm gonna say you probably wanna go to sleep, so <laughs> we'll take a break here. Thank you so much for your support and making these popcorn shoe cats with us coming on this journey with us this is so fun and great experience really felt the positive encouraging vibes of the food drink community on twitch for our second stream ever so thank you so much yes make them now you make them what what, what we should do is we'll share this recipe on our website if you can't find it on any other resource um from dominic Ansel's book but yeah Make them enjoy 
Thank you. Good night. Have a good sleep. Have a good dinner. And we'll see you guys again. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Chris. Henry. So happy to have met you guys. You guys yeah. are awesome. Let's meet you. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night, everyone. kids <laughs> good night good night good night, good night. bye bye